Good morning everyone. So it's our final day here in Mexico. We're in a place called Metepec, right near Toluca. So the plan today is that we're gonna be exploring Metepec and Toluca. Weather's supposed to be a bit bad. It is actually very cold here compared to everywhere else we've been in in Mexico so far. And I think there's supposed to be thunderstorms and stuff, but we'll see how it goes. So Carol's just booked an Uber now, and we're gonna head to like the historical part of Metepec and check it out. Okay, gracias. So we found a little like traditional local spot to have breakfast. Looks really nice and colorful. So we got some really cool paintings as well. One over there. Looks nice, right? I didn't mention um, how much was the Uber to here. Pays. And that was like 15 minutes, right? So really cheap. I think every single Uber here has been cheap. Here in Toluca is cheaper than in Mexico City. Oh yeah? So I got some green enchiladas that was 80 pesos with tea and some fruit. And Carol got the omelette as usual, which was how much? 70. 70. Yeah, with tea and fruit as well. So, looks pretty good. So we've now come to what appears to be like the main square here. It is very quiet this place. I don't think it's really like a tourist attraction. I don't see any tourists here at all. Square is very nice though. You can see there's still things left over from the Independence Day. It was the Mexican Independence Day the other day. And we're going to be heading to that chapel soon. I think that's one of the main things to see there on the hillside. Looks pretty nice. And yeah, this area looks pretty nice as well. Got like the fountain, the bridge and stuff. Just your uh, typical little Mexican square. town, right? Yeah, yeah. square. <laughs> Wanna head to the chapel then? at the chapel now you can't go inside but yeah it looks really cool I didn't know it was gonna have a chapel on a hillside like this and apparently they don't know exactly when it was founded but really nice views from up here as well so I imagine probably the best views you'll get of this little place from up here and I should have brought my drone I didn't bring it I didn't know there's gonna be stuff to film like this it would have been a lot better to film it on the drone that's for sure yeah so that's a shame We're gonna be heading out of here now. There isn't that much to do here, I don't think, beside the church. We are walking through a little park right now that was that was beside the chapel. So yeah, we're gonna be heading to Toluca and I think there's a lot more to see there.
We have arrived in Toluca now. It took quite a long time to get here. The traffic around here was awful. I think it took over 30 minutes and it was about 100 pesos. This place is absolutely packed at the moment. I think it's the fifth biggest city in Mexico from what I read. So yeah, it is just very busy. Right now, once again, we're on like a big main square. I'll just show you quickly. So just like every place in Mexico, you have like the colorful churches. And in the background, you can actually see the slums over there. Even the slums here are very colorful. Check that out. And right now we're going to be heading into this building, which is the Botanical Gardens. So the Botanical Garden is indoor, as you can see, just glass everywhere. And it costs 10 pesos to enter, so really cheap. Looks pretty nice though, beautiful flowers everywhere. Beautiful in here, right? Amazing. Yeah, so here is very small, but definitely worth it for 10 pesos. I think that's around 50 cents. And yeah, you get a combination of all the plants, but also art, because you have all this like glass art. I'm not even sure what you call that. Here's just one big greenhouse, pretty much. So yeah, just really cool. So you have like the Japanese garden. I think now we're gonna head to the part where all like the cactuses are. taking a quick rest got some orange trees behind me but they're very ripe because it's not the season for oranges it smells really nice in here as well I didn't expect that and we weren't even planning on coming to Toluca we only came here because our flight is out of here tomorrow morning so yeah we didn't come here for tourism reasons but it seems like there's still a few things to do we're gonna go out in a bit and I think there's some like churches and stuff as usual and um, yeah we'll see what's outside it's Avatar. Avatar, guys. <laughs> As expected it has started to rain we've just come to another square right near the botanical gardens I'll have to tell you the names on Google Maps because I can't remember all these names one second all right how long is this gonna take <laughs> Alright, so the square that we're on is called Plaza de los Martires. I think that's how you pronounce it. And that cathedral you see in back there is called Catedral de San José de Toluca. Behind me on this side you've got the Palacio Legislativo. And then behind me there is Palacio de Gobierno del Estado de México. <laughs> How, how was that pronunciation, Carol? Yeah. Awesome Spanish. Yeah, you're improving. I give myself a one out of ten there. <laughs> What's the plan now in the rain? Eat. Eat. You hungry? Yeah. All right, let's find somewhere to eat. <laughs> Yeah. 
We ended up coming back to the apartment because it's pouring it down, so we decided to eat here instead. So we just got uh, Uber Eats, a guy to deliver some food, and I think it was fish, right? Yeah, fish fillet. Fish fillet, yeah, and two Cokes. There you go. So all that food for the both of us was about 370 pesos. Probably a bit more expensive than when we eat in the street, but yeah, we don't want to be out there right now. And I'll just show you the apartment quickly. So this was $13, a real bargain, real cheap, because yeah, it's quite a big apartment, I'll show you now. So where I'm stood right now is kind of like the, the living room and the dining area. And then this one also has a kitchen and yeah, you can cook there on like the stove and stuff. And then over here we've got two bedrooms, got a little one here and then the one with the, the double bed where we're staying. And then the bathroom is, yeah, just pretty simple really. It's a good deal for $13, that's for sure. And that's pretty much it now for, for Mexico. We're going to be leaving tomorrow morning. We're heading to Houston for about 10 days, mainly to see friends. I don't know if I'm going to be making any videos there. I doubt it. And yeah, just been an amazing time in Mexico. Even though I've been here four times before, I think it's been better than I even expected. Mexico kind of has it all really. It has the unbelievable beaches, the beautiful colonial cities and towns, has obviously the ancient ruins, which is pretty rare in any other country, right? Uh, the food's great. I found the people to be really nice and very helpful. Every time we needed help, they always help us. So yeah, that's been great. And it's also very affordable. If you're a backpacker like us, you can pretty much do everything cheap. Obviously, we stayed in this place for cheap. You can find cheap food. Um, transport is also pretty cheap. I mentioned the Ubers today. So Ubers are always cheap and the buses are pretty cheap as well. Going between the cities, never really been that expensive. So yeah, it's just an amazing country. And me and Carol both agree that it's definitely in one of our top five countries to visit. So yeah, I'd, I'd recommend putting this on your list if, if you're looking for places to visit because yeah, we've just had an absolutely amazing time and hopefully you enjoyed these videos anyway. So yeah, we'll see what the next video is. Like I said, I don't know, but just thanks for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one.